Hi, I'm Carl Dannenberger and I'm standing out here at the uh, OSU Turf Research Center here uh, in uh, the, about the third week of June. And it's been warm in the 80s and as you can see, or we'll see in a second, it's raining. It's been real humid and wet uh, for, uh, for most of the spring. So I thought I'd show you some of the things that we're seeing. It's kind of, kind of neat. Uh, here I'm standing on a Bermuda grass turf. And uh, although we consider it fairly warm, for a warm season grass, it's not uh, growing. Temperatures aren't warm enough for it to really start growing. And what we're seeing is, is if you can see this light brownish color, we're seeing leaf spot come in on uh, this uh, Bermuda grass. I don't know if you can see the symptoms or not, but uh, although we don't grow Bermuda grass in Ohio, it's kind of a unique uh, type of thing. Again, due to the uh, relatively cool temperatures for a warm season grasses and the wet conditions. In contrast to the uh, slow growing conditions for the Bermuda grass being uh, relatively cool and wet, I'm standing now on a creeping bent grass turf. And as you can see, we're starting to see dollar spots, bleached out areas starting to form. Again, the conditions are quite favorable for that disease. Temperatures in the 80s, uh, humid conditions. But what's also interesting is that we're also seeing brown patch shown here, possibly. And maybe you can see the uh, smoke ring pattern beginning to form, showing that it's active. Is that uh, nighttime temperatures traditionally have not been uh, warm enough for this disease, but given the wet, humid conditions that we faced over the last few weeks, uh, the, this disease becomes active even at temperatures much lower than you would normally think.